welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ulina and I'm a knitter from Norway. And today I am finally going to cast on the Moby sweater. And I thought I would film and share that whole entire process. First of all, because I really want to um, have a memory of this process because I think this sweater is something that I'm really going to have a fun time with so I want to have that kind of memorialized and also I've been super intimidated by this pattern so I thought if there is anyone else that's also <laughs> super intimidated by this uh, sweater and this pattern we can kind of go on that journey together um, I've actually had the yarn for the Moby sweater for six months now and just not cast on because I've been too intimidated. It just looks like a lot to keep track of. But after talking about it on my video about fall knitting plans, um, someone on Instagram reached out to me, Knitting Tony, and they asked if I would like to join a knit along that they're hosting where you knit the Moby sweater. And that was exactly the kick in the butt I needed to get started so now I've made my swatch just to see if my gauge is right how the yarn uh, looks together and just to kind of gauge what I or if the yarn I've chosen works together um, and also just to practice the different techniques here are double moss stitch just a few stitches of that the cable and then this crisscross pattern thing. Um, I'm, to be totally honest, I've done this crisscross a couple of times before because I've done an Ingrid sweater for my son and for my sister and I've done the Moby slip over Junior for my son as well. So I have, have uh, tried myself on the Moby pattern before and on this crisscross in a few different patterns and it's not my favorite. I think it's really <laughs> Um, just I never kind of become friends with it. I uh, it's too finicky. I don't like uh, having to do all that stuff with the stitches. But it do does look really pretty in this yarn. So maybe this is going to be the project where I overcome that. I also really enjoy how the cables look um so i'm super excited to cast this on and after knitting this swatch i am way more excited because it really wasn't as hard as i thought you kind of get in the flow and just don't have to constantly be looking at the pattern to see what you're going to do next and i really appreciate that um i'm going to be working it up using Drops Charisma here in the color of white um, Just a plain DK weight um, I would uh, Kind of prefer it to be a non superwash yarn, but Drops Charisma is superwash But that was what I could afford that was in the right color um, and right thickness for me, and then I'm going to pair that with Drops Kid Silk, also in the color of white. Um, I think these two together are going to be awesome. And I'm really pleased with my swatch. And let's see if I can capture the halo. You can see it a little bit. Um, I think this is going to be an awesome sweater. Now that we're heading more and more into fall, the leaves have changed and they're almost all fallen off now. So I think this is going to be a perfect sweater now with the weather we are getting. So I'm just super excited to cast this off and hopefully it will be pain free. I won't make loads of mistakes because I think... Um, since it's so structured, it will be quite hard to fix the mistakes without going and frogging a lot. Usually I just drop stitches and kind of figure it out and 
Uh, I usually don't frog back the whole way to fix my mistakes, but since this is so heavily structured, I think this is a pattern where you have to rig back the whole way to your mistakes. And there's also a lot of counting and keeping track of the pattern. And I'm very bad at reading the pattern before just throwing myself into it. I usually just uh, figure out I th what I think it's going to be like and then do that instead of actually reading the pattern. So I have to keep in mind with this to actually read the pattern because how many stitches you're doing and everything is quite important. Uh, but yeah, that's all. Now I am hopefully going to cast on the Mopi sweater at least very soon. But today at least. Um, and yeah, I'm just super excited. little update um actually quite a big one i was as you saw i was outside with my whole family yesterday my father my mother my siblings my fiance and my son and since we were so many adults and uh, the others could look after my son while i got to cast on the mobile sweater and knit on that a bit and it was just so peaceful being it was not that peaceful since there was a toddler around, but it felt very peaceful to be in the forest and knitting and knitting on such a beautiful project with the fire nearby. It was all really nice and meditative, I felt. And when I got started, I just could not stop. So when we got back home, of course, there was a bit of time spent with bedtime and everything but when my son was asleep I sat down with this one and just knit away and I couldn't um, put it down. I had to force myself to go to bed at 3 a.m. and then that, this is how far I got. As you can see I'm done with all the short rows which was my main goal yesterday and then that was when I was originally going to bed, but uh, then the project was a bit too fun and I said, oh, I can just finish my first skein of Drops Charisma. As you can see, I didn't do that exactly because it was getting a bit too late. Um, but yeah, I ended up doing quite a few more rows uh, after 
the German short rows as you can see so I would say I'm a bit over halfway on the back panel and the more this is working up the more I am absolutely in love seeing uh, the pattern come together with more and more cables and this crisscross really coming to life. I still do not like doing the crisscross. I think it um, is way too much like um, stitches and everything. Um, but it does look very nice in this yarn. I think they look really nice in white. I think this is the prettier prettiest the crisscross has ever been when I've done it. Um, the fabric is definitely quite stiff as you can see there's really no drape to this. Um, I think it can almost stand on its own if I hold it down here yes as you can see. Um, but um, when I wash it with my swatch it gets a lot uh, softer and that I think that's going to happen with this as well. Um, but I can already feel that this is going to be a really amazing warm sweater and I'm super excited for it. I, But it's almost... Um, I'm a bit sad about it because I am loving knitting this up. But um, since I'm loving to knit it up so much, it's going by quite quickly. And that means that I'm going to be done faster. And that means I won't be able to work on this anymore. I will usually, I will probably come to a point where I am kind of overworking on it, probably on the sleeves, I would, I think. But um, so far, I'm almost sad that this project is going to be done someday because I just will not continue working on it forever because it's just so pretty. But. Um, that's really all. I just wanted to show my progress, hopefully, um, or yeah, hopefully um, I'm going to be ba done with the back today so I can start on the shoulders because I'm really excited to um, join the shoulders together so I can try it on for the first time. Um, so I'm not going to sit here talking anymore. I'm going to put my son snap to use and get some rows in here. That was all for my update.
I'm back with another update and let's see. Ta-da! This is how far I've gotten. Um, oops. I am working on the front panel now. I don't really have that many rows left either until connecting the body and starting working in the round, which I'm super excited for. Uh, last time I showed, I think I have done quite a bit on the back panel, but that's now finished. And also I decided when I had knit just enough rows here on the front panel, uh, like maybe this many rows, I decided to do the, um, oh my god, what's it called? The neckline, just to have that done so I could try it on. Foolishly enough, I'm in the middle of a row now, so it's not that easy to try on, but I'm just going to try to knit that while <laughs> I talk about this project. Um, I have used quite a few skeins of the Drops Charisma now, too many that I can really remember it anymore. But I'm still just on my second skein of mole hair. So it's definitely going through the Drops Charisma way quicker than the mole hair. But that's not that weird because mole hair um, is a lot more meters than Drops Charisma. Um, but it's going to be quite a few ends to weave in, as you can see. Not really looking forward to that, but um, this project is really going by so quick. I thought this project was going to take me a month um, and I was super intimidated by it before I started. But now that I'm into it, I can just knit on it without really thinking. So it's going by super quick. My son has also started having longer longer naps again now that we're in fall. I think he <laughs> sleeps a lot more in like the winter half of the year than he does um, in the summer. So that also gives me a lot more knitting time. I think he sleeps on regular for about three hours each day um, for his nap. So <laughs> definitely a bit spoiled with knitting time in his nap. Here it is without the needle in the middle. So I'm a bit afraid that the neck is a bit tight because it was on three millimeters, but I'm just going to try it on. It's definitely a bit tight as you can see, but it's uh, kind of as tight as I would want it to be. I think it's going to loosen up a bit uh, with washing and it's also going to loosen up a bit uh, with use every time I pull it over my head, but I'm very pleased with how it looks now. Um, as you can see, I've gotten quite far on the front, so now I'm just super excited to continue working and hopefully I'll be able to connect in the round now. I'm sorry for the background noise, my son just got back inside and I think that's my cue to resume my mom duties. But yeah, that's my, that's my little check-in with you guys, with my progress and I'm absolutely loving working on this and if you are putting this off because you think it's too scary of a pattern, I can say as a person who did that, go for it. It's not that bad.
mamma. Graven mamma. Graver du? Graven mamma. Graven mamma. Mamma gör det. Hande. Mamma gör det hande. Skal jeg gøre med deg? It's been quite a long time, I think, since the last update because I've just been so wrapped up in all these other projects. But I finally had the time to pick this back up and started working on the sleeves just because smaller circumference, it goes faster, more motivation, and that has really helped. I'm super motivated now. And now that I see it kind of coming together, I see the sleeves, see the body, I kind of can see the vision of this. I'm super excited to continue working on this and even though I still have quite a few other projects I should be working on this is definitely not going to kind of take such a long break at it, as it has now. I think I didn't work on it for like almost two weeks um, but yeah I hopefully will be able to do this sleeve today and then work a bit on the body and then do the second sleeve and then finish the body. Uh, I did try it on um, when I had done a bit less on the sleeve, I'll show that here. And it is definitely very tight um, so it will have to be blocked quite aggressively when it's done. But the structure is quite easy to stretch um, so I think that's going to work out and also this yarn is quite stiff before you wash it so I think that might be a part of the reason why it is so tight but yeah I'm just super excited about knitting on it, finishing it, wearing it. Winter is nearing and I think this 
sweater in white will just be amazing in the snow it's so warm it's so cozy i love cables in the fall and winter and the white sweater combined with the white snow i think it's going to be absolutely amazing so i'm just super excited to continue working on this and hopefully i'll have the time to work on this so maybe it will be done before we get into november this is supposed to be my October sweater because I am trying to make myself um, one ego knit project every month and this is my project for the month of October but um, I don't know if we'll be able to make it but I'm crossing my fingers we will be but yeah this is my progress so far It's currently about 2 a.m. and I think this is going to be my final update before my mobile sweater is done. Here let me just show you. Both the sleeves are done and I tried it on a few hours ago and it's a bit hard to see how much it will shrink in length when I stretch it out but I think I've knit to a point I'm happy with now. Um, for the structure of it and then I'm going to move into the ribbing now this is the only three millimeter I need I've got it's a 40 centimeter one so I'm a bit nervous about how that's going to work out because I have all these stitches and I'm going to have to transfer them to this small little needle but that's what I'm going to do I should probably head to bed but I'm just super excited to get this sweater done now. I'm, I just want to knit it, finish it, weave in the ends, wash it, block it, and then finally be able to wear it. I'm just super excited to be able to wear it. So we'll see how far I get tonight before going to bed. But hopefully this is going to be done in the next few days.
Hi and welcome to the last update. As you can see, my Moby is now finally done. And I just managed to finish it in time for it to be my October knit. My one selfish knit knit up in October. Um, I don't know if you can hear, but my son is awake here in the background. But I just wanted you, I wanted to show it off all finished. Um, I definitely managed to stretch it out a bit, so it's a bit oversized. Maybe not as much as the pattern calls for, but I'm happy with it. I'm also happy with the length it ended up being. I wanted it to hit me right at the hips, and it does. So happy I managed to figure out how long I had to knit and then stretch it out for it to be the right length. Um, I ended up using about five, about 550 grams of the drops um, charisma and I think 175 of kid silk I think. Um, and I'm super happy with how it turned out. I think uh, the structure in, I think the structure in white really turned out wonderful and I've tried it out today uh, just because when it was dry or almost dry I just wanted to use it immediately so I've used it. I was at outside a little trip and pushed the stroller for him to sleep and Alexander du må vente litt mamma filme og så skal vi gjerne være med deg and then I was also out with a friend so I've used this and it's definitely super hot I could push him in the stroller without anything outside and it wasn't even uh, cold and it's quite cold outside but I didn't feel cold because I uh, was wearing this and it just looks super pretty um, it's nice to wear indoors, it's nice to wear outdoors it's definitely everything I wanted it to be and I, yeah, I'm just super pleased that it's done that it's just everything I wanted it to be exactly how I pictured it and this is definitely like cured at least somewhat cured my fear of uh, like more intricate patterns, this crisscrossing, the cables, everything. So I now feel ready to tackle more advanced patterns. But yeah, that's just the little update I wanted to give. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like and a comment. That really means a lot to me. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. Bye!